to Limbs and Games, your one-stop shop for games and limbs. And just like our character here, we're just chilling. We're just chilling, you know, just chilling. So uh, as you may notice here, I figured out how to save. Also, I did a bit of grinding. Uh, I did as the game recommended and got five levels. That's one of the companies that worked on this. It's not important. I gained five levels. Um, even then, I was getting my ass handed to me. I don't have any footage of it, but I died like three times. Uh, they do a lot of damage, even when you're a uh, higher level. Anyway, uh, I noticed that this place has some doors, so I'm gonna- Oh! A pot lid. Oh, can I use that as a- Oh, treasure chest! <gasps> oh. Our first treasure chest of the game, and I can't even open it. What is this? I can go up here? Cool! Whoa. Can I ring this bell? Can I climb on the roof? Can I ring the bell? Can I not do anything here? What's the point of this? Okay, I guess there's no point to this. Anyway, yeah, I gained some levels. Uh, I got some money. I actually have a weapon I want to go get. But I wanted to be recording when I bought it. Just because I wanted to make sure I had footage of me getting it. And, you know, like, this is a blind playthrough. I've never played this game before. So I'm trying to keep everything new and fresh. Um, I did go to the weapon store to see if there was anything more exciting than the weapon that I had already. Should have done that on camera, I know, but I just kind of wanted to see uh, if there was anything I could use there. I did notice that there are different weapon types and stuff like that. But we're gonna see... I really want this guy here. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm immediately out of money. But that's okay. I'm gonna sell this sword, and I'm gonna sell this bandana. Don't really need either of those. Um, does that mean we have enough to buy his giant mallet? No. We don't have enough for his giant mallet. But I was able to buy the boomerang, which is what I really wanted, uh, because it can hit multiple enemies at once, and that's gonna be a huge help. Also, are those two treasure chests? Can we get those? I think we can get those. In the evening. Treasure chest is locked. How do you open treasure chests? Do you have to have the key for every different treasure chest? All those iron ingots remind me of, like Skyrim. Can I can I get a closer look at that? Yeah, that reminds me of Skyrim. I like that. I like that game. I like it. I look kind of menacing. But... Enough of that. Uh, yeah, so we can probably start heading towards the waterfall cave place thing that we were supposed to be going to. I'm all healed up. I've got my boomerang equipped. I have heal, which was a huge thing. I've got heal, squelch, and evac. So those are both pretty cool, or all three of those are pretty cool. Uh, evac I haven't had the chance to use because I haven't been in a dungeon yet. Oh, there was one thing I really wanted to get on camera. My reaction to, uh, if you die and you go into town, a little like a little coffin kind of follows you. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Anyway, we're just gonna follow this path here, I think, is the is the goal. Um, so we're just gonna fight some enemies here. Uh, it should be fine. I fought a lot. Nice! Oh my gosh! Yo! What? <laughs> and I was talking about how I was still getting my ass handed to me. Just wreck them in one hit. Oh my gosh, yes! This is what I wanted. What is this guy? Is that another cat? I love you, kitty. Be my friend. That sounds like a real cat. I love cats. What is this? Uh, we're not going to Castle Trodane. We're going... Oh, what the fuck? I might have fought one of these before. I don't remember. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I thought he was going to put me to sleep there. Yeah, get wrecked! Whoa! That's something I noticed about this game, actually, is, uh, health. So, like, the same enemy... So those were all satyrs, right? Like, uh, Danny DeVito in Hercules. Um, like Phil. And... I noticed that... Different enemies, they're like the same enemy, I should say. But they have different amount of health. Like, normally in a game like this, it's like a slime has 15 health, and that's its health. Like, any slime you run into at this level, it's gonna be that health. But in this game, so far, the health hasn't been consistent like that. Like, one candy cat 
will die to like 9 damage, but another will die to like 13. I don't know, it's weird. I've never... That's, that's, that's fairly different for most RPGs. For most RPGs, it's like health is standard, but it seems like maybe it's on a random number generator in this game. I don't know. I think that's kind of neat. Um, this game is definitely pretty different from any other RPG I've played before. First off, it, the difficulty, the ramp up, like the immediate difficulty, is this where we started? Yeah, this is where we started the game. Okay, don't need to be here. But the difficulty ramp up, like the immediate difficulty level, is, is pretty crazy. I don't think I've played, I don't think I've started an RPG and almost died on the first enemy I fought. I don't think that's ever happened before. Like, that's new for me, for sure. For example, Final Fantasy, I think, Final Fantasy VII, you know, the first enemy you fight, it's like a guard or something, and you wreck them, like, destroy them. Oh, sweet, nice. Okay, so you can kind of see, you get to see kind of what I've been doing. So I've kind of been going pretty much all humanity and uh, clubs for this guy. I'm imagining I'm mostly going to stick with clubs for this guy, but I don't know for sure. I might start adding stuff to scythes and axes. Maybe if you've played this game before, you have some suggestions. I'm not looking anything up, um, so I don't really know. I think the only thing I had to look up so far was how do I save, and that was because I had to turn the game off. So I needed to know, obviously, or else, you know, I would have had to start from the beginning again. So anyways, as I was saying, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to stick with clubs and humanity. Maybe I'll put, I'll put a couple into axes maybe, because I kind of like the idea of a devastating but unpredictable hatchet man. That sounds kind of interesting. Soft hearted learns whistle. What, what does that mean? Soft hearted? Was that a bad thing? Did I just do something bad? Or does soft hearted, can I call a dog? What if I can call a puppy? I love puppies! Do I get to call a puppy? What is that? Are you a bad guy? I didn't... Short shooter? What is this? What? Kabuff? I don't understand what's happening! Are... Are we... Is this a boss? Buff? What is he doing? Defense increases by... Nine? Okay. Are you just gonna keep increasing your defense? So, it looks like this guy's just increasing his defense over and over again. His defense is fully increased. We beat him. Wow! Copper monster coin? Copper monster coin? What is that? Uh, I'm slowly figuring out this game's menu system. Use when necessary. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to transfer. Oh, I can't use it. Okay. Nice. Alright. He's got extra defense there. Nice. Okay, I'm slowly figuring this game out, guys. I'm figuring it out. Alright, the menu system is a little weird. Uh, I'm not completely used to it. Also, what was that? Was that like a special enemy? Can I fight it again? 36 experience points. Dang. Also, Bonicorn. What a, what a game. Yeah, no, seriously, this game is interesting. I'm shocked I've never played any of these games before. I am. Like, it's kind of right up my alley. Okay, I see a treasure tre la 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 la. I see a treasure chest over there, but this bridge is broken. Where am I going? It said follow the path. I did, but where's this cave I'm supposed to be going to? Oh, there we go. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Uh, yes. Two skill points. Two, that's it? Let's, let's stick with uh, boomerangs and courage here. Yes. Where's this cave we're looking for? Do I have a map? I don't have a world map. So this is the overworld. I'm seeing the overworld right now. Okay. I like it. I, I, I like this overworld. It's nice. Anyway, treasure chest over here. Probably locked, because apparently this game is a jerk. Oh! Boxer shorts? What? <laughs> what is this game series? I don't understand. Okay, um, puts it in the bag. View bag's contents. Can you use it? Sure. Did that change his- did that change what his armor looks like? Oh man, I want to see. <laughs> Is he wearing boxer shorts now? Is that a fox? It's a fox! It barks. I don't think that's the noise a fox makes. But I mean, that one song would know. Did I just- okay, I thought I killed- Is he wearing them? I can't tell if those are different from his pants from before. Yeah, I don't think- I think that's the same. I don't think those are different. But I mean, hey man, boxer shorts. They, uh, if they do it for you. What I like is, so far, I've, I haven't felt like I can't go somewhere. 
Except for like that bridge being out, obviously. But eventually, I imagine we're gonna go over there. I'm wrecking dudes now. This boomerang, I'm so glad I saved up for this. Like, I was gonna record earlier, but then I saw that and I was like, dude, I need, I need to have that. Cause I know, I just knew that it was gonna make this playthrough so much easier. Where am I going? Like, I don't even know where this cave is. How much gold have we got? I really wanna buy his next item. Okay, we can almost buy it. It'd be nice to have him with a better weapon as well. But I also have heal, so we don't need to rush back to town every time we're about to die, which is really nice. 14 experience points, nice. I also like that time passes. That's very cool. That's, um, that's not unheard of for a game like this, but, oh. That was easy, but it's still pretty cool. I, I just like, I just like weather systems and like daylight systems. Like I like things like that in any game really. Like I like time passing. That, that to me is a really cool concept. I also like games that are built around that system. Like games like Stardew Valley or Majora's Mask is built around a huge time concept. Like stuff like that. I like, I like stuff like that. All right. I still have no idea where this cave is. It told me to follow the path, but now I don't even know where the path is. Oh, is that a waterfall? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the waterfall. Is that a sheep? Did it just glow when I spoke to it? it kind of looks like it's flickering. Oh, there's the cave. Uh, maybe I leveled up too much. I wasn't really trying to level up this much. I mostly just wanted gold. Oh shit, it looks like we found it. King Trode. But I couldn't possibly put Dia in danger. I'm sure he'll do a fine job finding Crystal Ball without us fucking. We'll be waiting here. Fucking, uh, we'll be waiting here. I'll be more than careful. I'll be ultra careful in here. So I think once we get the Crystal Ball, we're probably gonna end the episode. But we'll see how it. Oh, I'm holding a torch. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Ah, oh, this game has little things like little uh, little. Whoa, look at that. Look at that over yonder. Oh, and you can look in first person? I don't know if I knew that. That's pretty cool though. I can like see a treasure chest from here. What is that? A mecha mia? A mecha... It's dead. I didn't even get a chance to like admire that monster I was looking at. So we're in like a cave here. Ooh, treasure chest! I don't know if there's a more satisfying feeling than seeing a treasure chest in like an RPG. Just getting so excited that you... Oh, a map. Well, I mean, that's still kind of exciting. It's exciting for me. Because I've never, I bet the left path is the unsafe path, like probably more harder enemies. And the right path is probably the safer path because it looks like it's actually shorter. So let's go left first, because that's the type of gamer I am. What is that? It's dead. So I'm probably, I don't know what we're gonna do really for the turn-based combat sort of thing. It might kind of be a shorter, like if something exciting happens, I'll probably be like, hey, look at this thing that's happening. Well, honestly, that wasn't that exciting. Honestly, it'll probably be fairly, like, dependent on whether anything happens during the fight. Okay, so I should have gone this way, clearly. Whoops. The mischievous mole attacks. Nothing happens. Cool, cool. 16 gold coins. We can probably buy that thing now, but we'll have to wait until we go back to town. Can I walk in this water? I can. Okay, I was worrying something would happen if I did that. Treasure chest, treasure chest, oh, treasure, 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 treasure chest, treasure chest, oh, treasure, 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 treasure chest. Bottom, boom, boom, treasure chest, treasure chest, oh, treasure, treasure, treasure. Camaro wing? Is that a weapon? It allows you to warp instantly to a selection of places you've uh, you've previously visited. Can only be used once. Well, that's cool. I'm not gonna use it right now. But that's pretty cool. Uh, is that a guy? What are you doing in here, man? I came to look at the waterfall and I stumbled upon this. What are you doing in here? Waterfall cave. It's so intriguing. I was trying to explore, but I've gone and com but I've gone and got myself completely lost. I can actually see the entrance from here. Like I can actually see it. Like, do you need help getting back? You got yourself completely lost. One thing uh, I have noticed is that it doesn't change enemies based on location or kind of like what you're around. Like, it's not like water enemies are in the water and stuff like that. It's not like Pokemon in that sense. Or um, even, even Final Fantasy, you'll get different enemies depending on where you're walking on the grass. Or like if you walk in a tree area, you get like more bugs or whatever. Like, there's different... 
there's obviously different uh, enemies in different locations. But this game doesn't really do that. It's kind of like a mishmash, like you don't know what you're going to get, sort of thing. Look at the little puffs of smoke when I step. Oh, I see a dude. I see a guy way over there. Fire spirit. Five experience points. What is that guy? There's like a guard over there. Is that a boss? Is there an ability to climb a waterfall later? Because I kind of want to go up there. Look at that. That looks like a place I can go. That looks so inviting. Oh, but there's one exactly like it on the other side. That probably means I can't go up there. Oh. Alright, let's go see what this... Well, let's heal, actually. Let's, he let's heal and then go see what this guy has to say. Yangus is probably going to be fine without a heal. Okay, it doesn't look that intimidating, but you never know in games like this. Are you going to give us that hammer? What the fuck is this? Is that a helmet or it's hair? You'll have to fight me if you... What? What do you think? Brave enough for that, are you? R really, that... You are brave, that miss me, and you're a good fighter. I know, in recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you go through. Thanks, dude. Off you go, be careful now. Okay, I guess that, I, you know, I was totally prepared for a fight there, but I guess not. I still, I'm still constantly on edge that file of holy water. Cool. I'm still constantly on edge, I'm worried I'm gonna die at like any second. This game seems like one of those games where you just never know what's gonna be the thing to kill you. Stairs further down, that looks like a way out. We were looking for the crystal ball, which is probably further down, but we can see what's over here. Oh, what? Slurp? Guess what? This passage is a dead end. Do you believe me? Yes. Yay, then I'll tell you something good. It is a dead end, but there's a treasure chest up there. Slurp? So you're not an enemy, alright. A skipper? What the fuck is this? I don't like this one. I really don't like this guy. Oh, he does quite a bit of damage as well. It's dead. Oh, yeah, this was the treasure chest we saw from that bridge. Copper sword, okay. I guess that's if I want to not use the boomerang, which why would I want to? Because the boomerang is awesome. Seriously, dude, this boomerang? I'm getting a lot more money in this cave than I was out there. Well, you got the treasure? Was it any good? I've been wondering what's inside that chest in for ages, okay. I guess slimes don't have hands. Mechamanaz? Oh, they're dead. I still don't really... Mechamanaz. That sounds like dirty if you say it slow enough. Ooh, a signpost. Waterfall ahead, no littering. Oh, the crystal's... The crystal has got to be in this water. Like, it's going to be in the water at the base of the waterfall. It's got to be. Well, I don't know if it has to be, but that's just where I'm assuming it'll be. May as well hey, heal Yangus as well. Alright. Oh, this totally looks like a boss fight area. Look at that. That's ominous as heck. Even the music is a little bum bum bum. This totally look like, look at this. This is the setting of a boss fight if I ever saw one. I see it. I see the crystal ball floating in the air way down there. Party obtains 10 gold coins. Actually, just really quick. Just because I feel like we're about to fight something. Please just get to a cutscene before we fight another guy. Okay. We got it. Reach out and take it. I mean, yeah, that's why we came here. Uh-oh. What is that? Hey guys, just a reminder to like, comment, and share the video if you like what you see. If you really like what you see, you can always subscribe. In the meantime, if you want to see more, feel free to watch another series on my channel, or watch the next episode once it's uploaded. Nick, signing off.